Hello everyone, this is Osamu Akabayashi from Zen Ideas. This is WordPress membership website for volunteer managers. So all the members organizations can post volunteer opportunities so that they can recruit um, volunteers. We have over 300 members organizations uh, and also we have a member directory. So those are members, right? And uh, so the, each member has a single page here. And uh, so these are dynamic field. And I added the section bottom here. So volunteer opportunities from this organization. So this is a single page for this particular organization. And this is a custom query that's showing opportunities only posted by this organization, right? So this makes sense. And uh, as you see, uh, Jet Engine, so they have a custom query for WordPress. So I'm using this today and then I'd like to share with you uh, how I did it. Let's start with uh, the dashboard and then let's go to uh, Jet Engine. And then so let's create a uh, listings. And uh, as usual, just save time, I have already created. And just let's open up with the uh, element work here. Yeah, for this project, I have a bunch of uh, meta field and then the logo and then these are just uh, uh, dynamic terms here and then terms. And also I have some uh, uh, deadline, which is dy dynamic field. And then, yeah, so uh, I've already created that. So that's the listing. So volunteer opportunity on members page. So this is the one once again, so this one. And then next one is, uh, let's go to, uh, I have template to show. So I have a template for a single page for members. And then, uh, so let's uh, take a look at that. So go to, and uh, that's the Elementor, it's template. It's called the save, it, save template. And I think this is, uh, uh, I have lots of, uh, so I think this one, uh, member organization single page. So let's open up with uh, Elementor here. Okay, so that's the one. So once again, so um, it's a bit kind of complicated, but um, the here I like to add a new section. It's called the volunteer opportunities for this organization. And then I'm gonna list here, so. So I'm gonna use a uh, listing grid, so which is, yeah, I can just delete this to start. So I'm gonna just uh, delete this. So again, so this is just text. And then it's just using a uh, listing grid, which is this one. I'm gonna just grab this on here. Uh, the listing name is, I always forget, um, I think it's here. Also this one, so volunteer opportunities on members page. Exactly, okay, so. Okay, so which is uh, this one, right? So I'm gonna pick that. Uh, now it's showing here the, the listing template. So let's just uh, hit update. And let's go to a single, let's refresh this page. So you can just see that uh, just observe, but that's not what I want because uh, this, these opportunities are um, not right because posted by uh, different organizations, right? All right, so let's go back to dashboard. So here, here, uh, jet engine and go to uh, query builder. And then I'm gonna add new, add a new one. Uh, let's call it to, um, like opportunities on member, single page. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then uh, the type of query is uh, post query. That's okay. And the post time, so I have a lot of custom post type here. And in my case, um, I'm using a volunteer job which is right here. So I got the volunteer job. So it should be, okay, right here. So I'm gonna pick that. 
and then uh, the post status uh, has to be published only and then um, now let's see uh, order and order by so uh, I'm gonna use um, uh, order by actually before you should I, I like to show you um, I have a uh, post type so I'm gonna just open up uh, post up here and I have a volunteer job so let's just click that and uh, so I got the meta field in the, my custom post which is volunteer job and I have a application deadline okay so that is the unique ID name ID so I'm gonna just copy this and then back to uh, query builder and then because I want to um, the order by that deadline uh, should be all oh, right here so order by string meta value pick that and uh, so the meta key so that was unique uh, name ID here so I'm gonna post that and then the order by uh, lowest to highest value okay and then I'm gonna just hit add a query all right so another thing is because I like to display uh, for specific uh, uh, author so go to author here so the author ID is gonna be yeah uh, here oops sorry uh, it's gonna be uh, queried user ID so okay and then uh, just to hit update now let's uh, let's go back at the single template page here so and then right here I'm gonna just uh, edit the listing grid now go to um, right here now you, then you go to custom query oh I think I gotta probably refresh this page first and then just edit this section now go to this custom query and then turn this on the use custom query and then here you should see yeah right here so opportunities on member single page so pick that and then hit update and then go to the single page here and then uh, uh, right here just uh, those two opportunities that's wrong one but if you refresh so see what happened so as you can see the showing the uh, opportunities posted by this member so that makes sense now the problem is uh, it is June 9th today and unfortunately it's showing everything here so the deadline is May 25th it's past deadline because it's June 9th today so I like to hide any opportunities past deadline because it's not really useful for applicants right so those are good so the, the June 25th June 25th so those are good but the May 25th that's a past so let's go back to query builder once again so now we want to go to meta query okay so I'm gonna add a new now remember that I had this is post type here for the volunteer opportunity or volunteer job I, I call it and then so we have so the meta field it's called the deadline okay and then uh, so this make sure this was saved as a timestamp as well okay so now let's go back to query builder now so uh, sorry once again and I gotta probably copy this uh, unique name ID and then again so query builder so field key name so I'm gonna just uh, copy and paste that and the compare so it's gonna be greater or equal to and then the value is today now type now this is important don't pick date because this is I made a mistake so if you pick date uh, it doesn't work okay so make sure you pick a timestamp so this one all right and then update the query now let's take a look again go back to uh, this single page and then refresh 
Now, as you see, so again, like showing any post, custom post, later than today, right? So this makes sense. Now, one more change. This is just, uh, I like to make one more change, but this is uh, more just a design issue. So let's go back to this single page. Now here, so also like a probably if there is no data found, I'm gonna just change that uh, wording here. Uh, just general, I think there was, uh, yeah, here. So not to find the message, maybe call it to, uh, like there's no opportunity at this time. Something like that, probably better. And one more thing, so I like to use this called a slider and then just enable slider. Uh, slider scroll, that's okay. Uh, navigation, okay, so I don't need to auto play. All right, so that's good, so I'm gonna hit update. And then let's go back to C. So I like this kind of uh, clean look here. And then go to member directory. So let's see if there is any, let's take a look at this organization. So here, uh, so in this case, so there's no opportunity at this time. So that's good. All right, so I found this uh, Jet Engine custom query builder is uh, gives a developer like me um, a great opportunities and then uh, serve uh, clients a uh, better uh, user interface and the user experience. So uh, I hope uh, this uh, quick tutorial helped, helped and I'll see you next time.